What is going on, guys? It is your boy, Nitro's Monkey 226. And guys, we got Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Oh my gosh, new gameplay, new this and this, bro. You guys are still trying to find a way to convince me to play this game, bro. And let's see if this is convincing enough. And you know what's convincing enough? That red juicy damn subscribe button right there. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So hit that damn subscribe button and maybe I'll play Tears of the Kingdom. That's some new gameplay, bro. Oh my gosh. Let's see what Link's dumbass is doing. I mean, Link, yeah. I don't know, man. I just don't. I, I just don't see it, you know? I, I, I don't know. I don't know, bro. Link has to prove himself. Like shit. Oh, hey, did you hear that there's a brand new Zelda game coming out soon? Yes, I did. I played it, and I can't wait to tell you all about it. Oh, tell me, man. Come as a surprise to exactly IGN. That the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is going to be an absolutely massive video game. No, it's not. With a staggering amount of things to do and see. Okay. After all, it's the follow-up to the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Ha, Zelda! <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. One of the biggest, deepest, and rewarding open-world games ever made. I go lie, you glazing. You're glazing. You're actually glazing, bro. You're glazing, bro. Breath, screw Breath of the Wild. You're glazing, bro. Nah, okay, all right. I'll give Breath of the Wild his credits, bro. Breath of the Wild started that wave, bro. For the for the that's just a ten minute video. Let me just click it. With the open world games. wasn't just how much there was to do, and there was certainly tons. All right, shut up for a sec. Um, Breath of the Wild did start the wave for the open world games. Before that, nobody was doing that style, bro. As soon as Breath of the Wild did that, everybody was jacking his style. Pokemon Legends Arceus, um, which actually came out good. Scarlet and Violet. Um, Sonic Frontiers, like everybody's doing that shit now. It was just how much creative freedom I had at attempting to take on every corner of it so far. Oh but my god! Was, Look at Link. It was effectively, hey, see that landmark in the distance? You can walk that landmark in the distance? Well, you have a hundred different ways to get there. Okay. Might not like, this is Minecraft. So, like, the Hyrule below is the updated open world from Breath of the Wild. The sky sections feel more akin to... Yo, guys, I didn't even play Breath of the Wild, bro. Boat to get around. There are tons what of the tons hell? In disparate clusters. Here we go! Shit! Exactly how you're going to travel between them, take on their endless puzzles, conflicts, and caves, and move on to the next one. Okay. And soar through the sky in your trusty paraglider, hoping you've got enough stamina to not only make the trip, but to... Man, I swear if Link run out of stamina on me, bro, it's rats for him, bro. Very familiar with that exercise. Well, I'm not that's familiar with that exercise at all, then. Options, and that's where things get really clever and occasionally very funny. Using some parts lying around, I decided to make a goofy double decker bomber jet to double decker the skies in style. I couldn't tell you why I decided to make it a double decker, besides, I thought it looked cool at the moment. And really, sometimes that's real. Hey! Oh man, this time around, the most significant of which is Ultra Hand, a sort of remix of his. Sheets. Now he got that Ultra Hand, okay. Wow. Ultra Hand basically works like the Force in Star Wars. Oh shit! Push and pull and rotate. Oh, Link got the Force. And then stick them to other objects. Nah, Link is Darth Vader, bro. You won't be able to use it on organic things like animals or enemies or anything. Bro, you can levitate animals. What? Rock structure. But there are some we're allowed to grab and Man, I'd beat all they asses, bro. Yo, guys, how long do you think it takes to beat uh, uh, Breath of the Wild, bro? Stabbing it. What? I asked, I asked Mr. Vendetta, and he just laughed, bro. Using two large fans that were he laughed. In the area, I stuck them to some ship parts using my ultra hand, and then pulled a steering stick. Bro, I would easily beat this shit. I would easily beat this shit before Tears of the Kingdom come out, bro. I can eat. Whoa. Zonai devices are new this time around, and you'll be able to find them in batteries. What? Zonai devices are new this time. Bro, there's batteries in this shit. You'll be able to find them in giant. Man, I, I'm gonna get some double A's and stick it in that bitch. I'm sure there's other ways to get them too. The devices have a variety of looks and abilities, and they can generally be used to manipulate or enhance objects around you or in your hands. Link, think he's so cool, bro. The only reason why I'm playing this, shit, I would ever play this shit, is because of Zelda. Allowed him to rocket jump into the sky anywhere, similar to Revali. Damn. Hmm. Occasionally stick two objects together, thinking it makes sense, only to instantly realize uh, that was a very stupid idea. Yeah, that was dumb, bro. I would have never done that shit. Which I made and uh, created a normally function box fan with a decorative hot air balloon stuck to it. I would never do that. A power that would reverse time on a performed action. Like what? Rewinding a video file using gusts of wind. My Bro. Performed action like I was. Video file 
Using a gun. Damn, sword, bro. My hang glider, my bare arms. I made several valiant but ultimately inefficient attempts to get the stone across the sky before realizing that I could just ultra hand the entire puzzle ball and rotate it to make a walk. I would have done that. See, that's what I mean. See, I would have done that. You could ultra ball it, bro. Yeah, again, good job, Brain. My puzzle allows you to. Bro, I swear the link falls off for me, bro. It's wraps, bro. Fuse. Fuse what? You take objects and materials you find in the world or in your inventory and apply them to your shield, weapons, and bow and arrows. I was getting huh? by an army of tough bad guys in a fort and saw a giant spike. Before what the hell is a magnesis? Use it to my weapon and turn my fairly crappy sword into a much, much stronger spiky ball sword. Oh, that's the slit that they showed off in the trailer. Man, I'm beating their asses. Weapon break that made it stronger, a horn fused broadsword, and a ruby fused arrow that depleted a ruby fused arrow? What the hell? Charge projectiles, which were fiery, awesome, and much stronger than your typical arrow. Now, on a technical level, everything I played ran at a consistent frame rate so far. Okay. Pokemon. Pokemon. You heard that? You heard that, Pokemon? You heard that, Pokemon? Let's go back for you, Pokemon. Let's go back for you, Game Freak. Everything I played ran at a consistent frame rate, so far, at least. Breath of the Wild was a launch game for the Nintendo Switch and ran into occasional dips in frame rates in dense outdoor areas like the Korok. Unless Nintendo has been secret. Let's be fair. Let's be honest. Breath of the Wild frame rate issues are like. Come on. Like, you can deal with that, bro. Compared to Pokemon, you can deal with any frame rate issues. Spoilers. Bro, can Nintendo Switch. Like, can the new. Nintendo devices just moved to 60 FPS off the jump. Like, bro, I'm tired. Like, why are y'all still in 30? It don't make sense. Console games, like, why doesn't Nintendo just make a stronger system? I don't get it. Console games have stronger games on there and run. I, I don't know. Like, do you purposely just shoot for 30? Why don't you shoot for 60? Enemies in a thick forest. In, in a thick forest. Down below the clouds. Either way, if you didn't personally have an issue with those things in Breath of the Wild, you'll probably be fine here too. Yeah, I'd be fine there. All from Ultra Hand to Fuse and dozens of Sky Islands, these are just some of the things that make this game the rare direct sequel to a pre -re. But Tears of the Kingdom is layered, or uh, tiered. And the way you interact with Nero. I know you didn't just say that, bro, gang. Off. I wonder what they're going to rate this shit. This game in all right, man. Four hundred fifty-two thousand views, like. Holy bro views on that shit. Well guys, if you want to see me play that shit, I mean I already asked. It seems like you guys want me to play that shit. If anything, I'd have to stream Breath of the Wild, bro, because first of all, number one, I would need help. Number one. Number two, it's just you know, I don't know, bro. So we'll, we'll see. Um it comes out in May. Um We'll see, man. Do I really drop seventy dollars for that shit? Do I really drop seventy dollars? I don't know, bro. So don't forget to leave that guys. Don't forget hold on. I need to make a face. I need to make a face. I'm gonna leave a like, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys on the next video, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna drop two on Friday, but I don't know. I just know I'm gonna be out all day on Thursday, so I had to prepare. Wait, what video do I have for Thursday? I don't have one. Oh my gosh.